Hi, I'm Severio from Honey Plugins, and today I'm here to show you uh, our latest plugin, the new ELM 128MK2. This plugin is a loudness meter that obey to the EBU Air 128 standard that is designed for broadcasting to make sure that everything, every sound that is broadcast is uh, at the desired level. This kind of meter listens to the loudness of the signal, taking into consideration the human hearing that is different at different frequencies. So with this kind of metering, you have a more accurate representation of the loudness as perceived by our humans. So um, what we did with this uh, new plugin is take the original ELM128 and uh, create a new version with new features and a much improved uh, user interface. So I'm gonna show you right now how the plugin looks and how it works. So we have here our new interface that is uh, uh, resizable, so you can uh, adjust it to uh, the screen space you want it to use. Then we have on the right our chart, uh, where in the last uh, seconds of minutes or minutes of audio are shown, you can of course choose uh, the length of the period that you want to display. So by default it's set to 10 seconds, but if you want you can use 20 seconds, 30 seconds and so on. Then you can also adjust the, the scale here. So if you want to zoom in the, um, the level, you can say I want to have uh, 24 dBs or 48 dBs, something like that. So you, you can, uh, of course, have a different scale uh, in uh, dB here. Then you have your reference that by default is set to negative uh, 23 LUFS. That is what the standard dictates, but if you want, for example, to master for um, YouTube or Spotify, you have to put, hit, put here negative 15. That is uh, the level at which those uh, streaming services are normalizing tracks. And uh, I will put back negative 23 right now. Then you have uh, three buttons that you can use to display or hide the readings of the loudness, the momentary, the short term, and the integrated here in the chart. If uh, you want to only look at the momentary level or short term or integrated, you can disable or enable the reading you want. The same color, you can find them here in the border of these uh, readings uh, that show the uh, absolute level of uh, this this, uh, of each measure. So you have uh, a short term measure here, integrated here, and then you have the dynamic range in dB uh, here. It's different, it's the difference between the highest peak and the 90% lowest peak. It's defined in the standard. So if you want to know more, uh, I suggest you have a reading on Wikipedia or anywhere on the web. You can find a lot of information on uh, the R128 standard. Then you have the reset button that will uh, reset uh, uh, everything uh, to initial state so you can start a new measurement. And uh, then on the left side, we have uh, uh, peak meters for a 5.1 system. So it's a surround, uh, it's a surround uh, compatible plugin. And uh, these are true peak meters that shows the real peaks uh, using a four times over sampling that uh, uh, simulates the reconstruction filter you are going to find on the analog uh, and the digital to analog converters. So uh, even if your digital peak meter uh, shows you you are safe, uh, um, that's not actually going to be true every time because uh, there may be some peaks that are uh, escaping the raw digital metering because uh, once you reconstruct a digital signal you are going to have peaks that are higher than the, the digital zero so uh, with this kind of meters you are going to have a, a preview of those peaks here also you have uh, an indication of the maximum peak that have been reached since the last reset 
Then uh, we also provide a, a switch here to let you choose between mono, stereo and the 5.1 uh, system. So if you want to use it for music, you can use the stereo view or for surround view or the mono view for a single track in your mix. Then uh, we have the, our normalization feature that allows you to automatically adjust the gain of the plugin, the turn gain of the plugin to match the reference you specified here. So you can use uh, both the momentary short term or integrated reading of the measurement to target this reference and the plugin will adjust the gain so that the maximum peak is at the, your desired level. We also allow you to load and save presets. So if you want, you can create your own presets and this is a simple load and save uh, uh, standard uh, feature. So uh, just to let you know how it works, I will play uh, first a stereo track and then a surround test signal so that you can uh, see how the plugin uh, works and behaves. For this track, we have an integrated negative 9 LAUFS, a, a dynamic range of 3 dB, and a maximum peak of, uh, on the right channel of uh, 0.1 dB. Now, I want to uh, normalize this track to be released on uh, YouTube, for example, so I will put negative 15 and uh, I will work on the integrated value. So turn on normalization. So you can see that uh, the integrated value is exactly at the same level as uh, our reference line and uh, this is because the normalization has tried its best to match the level we wanted. So we have to decrease the maximum peak, we have to decrease the overall level, and the dynamic range remains the same because, of course, the track has not changed in dynamics, just in the overall level. If I wanted to see uh, the history of the, the playback, I could uh, look at the last three minutes where I can see everything I have done, and this is the integrated level before and after the normalization. The short term follows the same pattern, and the momentary, actually, it goes the same way. Now, we can have a look to a um, uh, surround signal. I have my surround signal here. It's just a test signal, so I will solo the track. And I'll show you how uh, the plugin works with a surround the signal. Left, right, center, sub, surround left, surround right. So if you select this, um, this mode here, surround mode here, you can work with surround signal. Of course, if you have a multi track signal like we have in this case, and we select another way of working, another mode like mono, we are only hearing the first track here and the, all the loudness measurement is made like only the first track was present. So left. So even though the, the, the signal is playing, we are not hearing anything because the plugin is set in mono mode. If you, we want to to hear everything, we have to set the right mode for the right track. So, the ELM 128M key 2 is available right now on www.honeplugins.com. Uh, you can uh, download the plugin. We offer a 100% money back guarantee. If you don't like the plugin, you have 15 days to try it out. So, if you have any suggestion or any question, just uh, feel free to write us. Thank you very much for watching this video.